genius, charismatic, badass. Thy name is Makoto Yuki. Greetings all, it's Blue Knight, and welcome back to Persona 3 FES. Previously, we took care of the latest Guardian Pack in Tartarus, the Arcade Turrets of the Zaya Block. And we also handled some social link business with Fuka, as our relationship with her is beginning to intensify even more. So much so that if she gets jealous, then she'll get jealous if we go out with another girl. As you saw in the intro that I just stupidly made up, we maxed out our final social attribute, the academic status. Which means I never have to go back to the arcade ever again to spend some of my to spend my money. I can do whatever I want with my yen now. And we also saw that something's going on between Jupei and Chidori. They're starting to get a little more friendly now. We also saw that uh, Chidori happens to have some healing abilities, which is really strange because we've never seen anyone outside of Dark Hour or Tartarus or any of that stuff use any sort of supernatural abilities. It's kind of wrong that she has that she, since she's so obsessed with death so much by the way her attitude has been. But today, we're gonna do some social link business and to kick things off since it is Saturday night and I don't have to go back, go back to the arcade anymore, we're gonna hang out with Tanaka. I was not expecting this to happen, but the sooner we can get this social link done, the better. Yes, I am enthusiastic, Tanaka, but not for you, for entirely different reasons. Okay, what do you have to say? The other day, a woman came to, a woman came to my office asking for a donation. She was the kind of girl that men dream of. Drop dead gorgeous. But no matter how attractive she was, I was repulsed by her dedication to charity work. Well, that's is just really selfish of you, Tanaka. But then again, this is you that we're talking about, so I shouldn't be surprised about that. So I'm not sure what the right answer is, though it probably shouldn't matter because we reckon with him automatically no matter if we have a matching persona or not. So... We probably should ask the stupid question, are you gonna donate? I'm pretty sure you won't. Of course not! I hate the very word. I can actually see that, Tanaka. He's offended, yet we have music notes pop out, which means we made the right choice. The best choice, I should say. Why should I give my hard-earned money to a bunch of freeloaders? I pulled myself out, out of squalor to get where I am today. Squalor, that's a really fancy word. <laughs> In fact, I've earned the right to laugh at those who used to laugh at me. Look, just because you're in a better position in life now doesn't mean you should use your money and your attitude to belittle other people. That's just that's just wrong. You're just, you're essentially become the bully that you were always getting picked on by. At least that's what I assume. That you did have to put up with bullies. Profits are booming. But I'm so busy, I don't have a time to spend a dime. Maybe I should train someone to take my place. I could teach them my business philosophy and help them master my management techniques. If you're gonna ask me, the deal is off. Way before it gets on the table, Tanaka. I will say no a million times, but the answer will always be the same. The last thing we need is another of you in the world. What is more than enough that we can handle, please? Yeah, I thought he would try to ask me. I Didn't you just listen to me? Well, Makoto can't speak, but I'm speaking for Makoto Tanaka. The answer is no. It will always be no, no matter what you say or how much you want to pay me. Despite his awesome of humor, you sense President Tanaka's strong feelings towards you. Do I? I think I got lost in my tirade there because I ignored the rest of its dialogue. But we are getting to the next record in Social League, so that's what really matters to me. But the thought of just having another Tanaka, a Tanaka Jr. if you would, in the world, I don't think anyone can bear that. 
At least if anyone saw what Tanaka was really like outside of us and its employees, then they would completely understand why two Tanakas in the world would be too much to handle. Donate for the sake of the less unfortunate, eh? President Tanaka left. He was really appalled by that slogan. And by charity in general, man, what a egotistical, selfish little SOB, isn't he? Uh, hi, Keisuke. I'm not gonna have time to talk. I've got something important tomorrow. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll see you at school at Photography Club. Don't be so down, man. What we do? Well, since we don't have to study anymore, we can finally turn in for once. And if we're able to sleep enough... What's going on? It's Pharaoh's coming to see us again? It has been a week, actually, so that should be it. Hi, it's been a while. Three seasons have passed since we met. Time goes by so quickly, and many things change. Yet some things will always remain the same. Don't you agree? Yes. If you say so, then it must be. Talking with you has stirred up certain memories. That tower, for instance. I've been thinking about it lately. I wonder, will our relationship stay the same? Or will it evolve? No matter what the future holds, you and I will be friends. That is for certain. It seems that Feroz is becoming more and more caring for us. And talking with him has stirred up certain memories. I wonder what he's talking about. Maybe we might find out someday, but that's not going to be today. Nonetheless, we have reached the next rank in the Mysterious Boy Social League. Rank 6 already, wow. Man, time just flies by. It just felt like yesterday that Feroz was talking to us for the first time in our room. But life must go on as now we transition into the 13th of September. And it's a Sunday too. But we already have plans on Sunday as I previously mentioned last episode. We do have a date with a certain doormate. That being with Fuka. So it's time to leave and go enjoy our little date with Miss Yamagishi. Or a book on. <laughs> Another bookstore. She seems to have overcome her little, I guess, phobia of going to bookstores now. <laughs> have you ever read the Titanium Chef by I can't say I have. I've been wondering how it was going to end. I'm relieved now that I was finally able to finish it. I'm amazed at how good the food in a, in a manga can look. <laughs> can only imagine. I don't read much manga myself. <laughs> Probably because I just don't read it general. By the way, Makoto-kun. Lucas, you're a bit nervous. Have you ever filleted a fish before? Uh, yeah, not too bad. I would never say that. I have never really filleted a fish before. I don't even like fish that much, to be honest. Unless it's sushi. Wow, really? I can't stand touching raw fish. They're so slimy. And stinky too. Plus, I'm clumsy with a knife. Uh, no offense, Fuka, but I can actually believe that. You'll have to teach me how to do it the right way, Makoto Kun. Fuka seems impressed. Today, the two of you became a lot closer. You probably said that just to impress her, Makoto. I see you've been picking up some lessons from Junpei on the side, huh? Come on, man. I thought I knew you better than that, even though you're a solid protagonist and pretty much a blank slate for the players, still. I expected better from you. Okay, let's see. Since we did get the, uh... 
glass face. We'll head that over to Fuka. Yep, here it is. Fuka, I hope you like glass because that's the best thing I got for you yesterday. I hope that's a good kind of shocked. Because for all I know, you could be offended. Um, is this for me? Really? Oh, sorry. I'm just surprised. I mean, I've never seen something so wonderful before. Okay, I clearly I underestimated the importance. Thank you very much. I'll cherish it forever. I clearly underestimated the importance and the significance that a simple glass face can do to a girl. Maybe there's some secret affinity that girls have a glass. I have no idea. I don't think so. Maybe some people do like just the empty container that has a glass face. I'm no florist, so I have no idea. Welcome back. Uh, thanks, Mister. Uh, today was rather interesting. Oh, hey, Shinji. I see you're getting a little parental parental about Kormaro. At least you're just watching over him. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Just talk about yourself while I see you overlooking Kormaro. I know how you really feel about Coral Chan, Shinji. You don't have to hide it. Look, we are we are all Korobaru's caretakers. There's no need to hide your your caringness, your caring for little Koro. It's all right to feel some uh, I want to say sympathy, but some sort of kinship towards an animal. I don't know what I'm saying, but I hope you try to understand what I am saying, because I can't find the words for it right now. How are you getting along with Shinji? He's a little rough around the edges, yeah, I can tell. But deep down, he's a really nice guy, just give him a chance. She's saying all this, yet I'm seeing Shinji over Lakoro. That image was just never more appropriate for Shinji than that moment was right there. I heard Shinji's a really good cook. I can't, I can't say from experience, though. I've never had anything he's made. That's because he only cooks for Koro Maru. He secretly only cooks for Koro. That's it. That's his one secret. He's trying to hide from everyone. Yet he's out of the open looking over Koro. Koro Maru always sees him happy. I'm a little jealous of him. He can be satisfied just eating a meal. Ah, I wish my life was that simple. I'm pretty sure some people would be so... So glad just to have a meal and they would be satisfied. I'm not one of those people because my body doesn't really have the ability to inhale that much food. But I'm sure there are some folks out there that are just that are just, they're just satisfied with a decent meal at best. Shinji of Senpai is pretty dependable. It's pretty dependable, don't you think? He's physically strong, but he also knows how to keep his cool. Yeah. He looks scary, but in reality, he's more like a big brother. Shijiro the big brother, I can actually see that. And Shijiro-san here, the atmosphere is so much more serious. With Junpei-san here, the atmosphere is so much more childish, so it balances out. Ouch, that hurt I, chan I have no comeback for that. <laughs> oh man, I guess... I'm not sure if she's being aware of that or not, but she's just getting more and more experienced with her comedic timing. She's just been kind of like the life of the party as of late. With Shichiro-san as her ally, we are a more formidable force. This is the ideal time for us to ascend Tartarus. We were there just last night, I guess, or like the night before. I don't want to go back there for a little while. The best defense is a good offense. That's how you win. Instead of being so amazed, maybe you should try to be more like her. She's got a, she's got a point there, uh, Junpei. Rather than just being amazed by people, try to aspire to be like them in more ways than one. Just try to better yourself, that way people will be amazed when you improve your skills. Let's see, it's Sunday today. I usually don't have anything planned for Sundays when it comes to night time. So I think I'll just head back to my room and sleep in for tonight. Man, it's gonna feel so good to continuously sleep in now since we maxed out our academics. And I was gonna try to say this earlier, but if we sleep in long enough and for enough nights, 
our condition will actually improve the grade. Just as I say that, the game goes through with it. So that will definitely make things in Tartarus a lot easier going forward. Now that we have no risk to get tired instantly whenever we try to study. If we want to study anymore, which we won't do. What is your class going to do for the culture festival? Oh yeah, that is coming up. Uh, Juki mentioned that like one time to us. Before the full moon, I think. A haunted house. I bet I'll be stuck playing the ghost. Yeah, if ghost isn't so bad. You can just show up and put on the costume. I have to do a magic show. <laughs> I can imagine that would be a lot more difficult. Did you hear a typhoon's on its way? I hear it's a big one. The school will be empty. Oh man. If that's the case, then Culture Festival's gonna be in quite the, the uh, jeopardizing state. <laughs> Okay, we got Mr. Takenosuke again. We'll be talking about nuclear fission today. Imagine a nuclear reaction in which a massive nucleus splits in the smaller nuclei, releasing energy as it does. I believe you all know that much. The reaction emits massive quantities of energy, which is why it's used in nuclear power plants. You all know that Japan has three nuclear pro prohibitions in place, right? Yeah, just a thought, so we got picked on. Even though we are a genius, charismatic badass now, I guess there's some things we still have to learn. Which of these is not one of Japan's pro prohibitions on nuclear weapons? Uh, which was the answer again? Uh, can produce, can with others produce? I think the answer might be two. One or two? I'll go my gut and stay in guest number two. It helped me at times. And it helped me out again. Nice. We forbid possession, production, and admission of nuclear weapons within Japan. The third prohibition is a little controversial, but this is physics class, not political science. Now for nuclear fission, yada yada yada, I don't care. Just give me my unnecessary charm and let me be on my way. Kinda sucks we still have to get picked up for answers, but maybe we, have, we might be becoming a teacher's pet now that we back to all of our all of our traits, which will make the teachers pick on us more than ever. That's kind of a bad thing, actually. And anyways, we see Fuka, Fuka again. We've been seeing her a lot as of late. Uh, am I gonna be free when after school? I bet. Whenever you get the time, it's fine. Well, I'll see you later. Tizuka wants to talk to us about something. Uh, maybe we might see her after school. I'm not sure yet. Uh, let's see who else is going to come up to us. Ah, hey, Kaz. Oh, come on. Don't do that again with the knee, please. Yeah, I figured you were kidding at this point. You got me once. You know the phrase, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yeah, it ain't happening, buddy. I'm not sure if, I want, if I'm going to if I'm gonna come to practice yet. It seems like he's worried about his knee, yeah? Dude, quick look at my knee. I'm fine. Later. Well, I can't... Can't help but continue to worry, Kaz. That's all I can do, is just worry. Okay, anyways. After school has arrived. Um, I think I will go hang out with Fuka again. Since we have seen her a lot lately, we might as well continue to progress on her social link. Besides, right now she's the only girl that we can see since she will get jealous if we try to go out with another girl. Something you want to talk to us about? Might be more nervous than usual. I don't think we actually got this dialogue yet. I don't remember. We've been on this social league for quite a while, as you will do with many of these social leagues in this game, i.e. all of them. <laughs> yeah, Fuka, don't mention it. You clearly got something on your mind. Oh, back to the rooftop, huh? Sure. You know, I'm surprised at how many times you've been onto the roof of this school, actually. You'd think they would keep the door locked to this place at this point, but I guess they just don't. That or the students have found an easy way to get to the rooftop. Who knows? I want to apologize for the way I acted the other day. I've been thinking about how I feel a lot since then. 
Whenever I begin to waver about something, I immediately start thinking negatively. I often wonder what your thought process is when you have to make an important decision. I've been thinking about this for a long time. No one knows what the future holds. No matter how prepared you are, you can't predict what will happen. I can agree with that. So the only thing you can do is believe. You have to think positively as if the future is smiling upon you. I don't think I'm quite there yet though. Yeah, you're still a work in progress. But I'm pretty sure you're well on your way. You seem to know that already. Yeah, I kind of figured. Don't worry about that, Fuka. So, Makoto-kun. Why are you always so positive? You know, that is a really good question to ask. Well, really, I just believe in myself. I never had that confidence for, like, the longest time. So, I know how you feel, Fuka, but... Over time, I was able to build that confidence, and now I believe in myself. That's why I always try to be so positive. You're really strong, Makoto-kun. I just try my best, that's all. I... I'm attracted to that quality of the guy. Ooh, really now? Well, I'll be the most upbeat person that you'll ever know, Fuka. I mean, if that attracts you to me, then I won't stop being positive, at least for you. So I think we know what attracts Fuka now. A positive male. Or a positive guy. And because I've learned this, and I guess Fuka wanted to try to change her thought process, we've reached level 8 in the Fuka Yabagishi Social Lake. Man, it's hard to think we're already this close to ending. I know I've said this before, but... It's amazing how much time flies when you progress on a social lake. Especially when we put a focus on one in particular, like we've been doing with Fuka as of late. The reason why I was so confused before was... I thought that after I paid everyone back for their kindness, I wouldn't have anything to talk with you about. Okay, yeah, I can understand that, actually. But now I know that that doesn't matter. I want to be with you, Lakota-kun. Well, truth be told, Fuka, I feel the same way. <laughs> yeah, I figured I'd catch her off guard. Well, thank you, Fuka. You've been thinking me a lot, so I think I should see that one time in return at the very least. I'm going back to the dorm now. I'll see you later. Have to say goodbye to Fuka, we go back to the dorm. Not like it matters anyways, because we're gonna be in the same dorm regardless, so... It's not like you can hide from us. Sup, dude? Hey, Junpei. Hey, I don't know about you guys, but things have been really good as of late. At least for me, the last couple of days, we've been progressing on this in-game time. We accomplished so much in just a short amount of time. I feel like... I'm damn near unstoppable, I'm not gonna lie. But because, like I said, we've accomplished so much in the last few days in this game. It's just been kind of raising my confidence a little bit more, especially since that last expedition Tartarus, we were going in in a tired state, no less. And I was really worried about how things would turn out, probably for the worst. Yo, I heard that I heard that's a, that's a typhoon heading this way, dude. I hope it doesn't just pass by. Because if it did, we wouldn't have a day off, so we had to walk to school in the rain. And that would totally suck. That, that's true. But then again, I've never had like a typhoon warning in my area before. As a matter of fact, I'm about as far away from natural disasters as you can get. So I'm pretty safe. So I really don't know how that's, uh, how that feels. We've defeated nine shadows. Which means only three remain. Thank you for the basic bath, Mr. Kuski. I can do that much, thank you very much. That's fantastic! That I can agree on, though. We are so close to the end. Please keep up the good work. Well, the shouts want to come at us, like, in a trio on the next full moon, then I wouldn't complain about that. That would make our job, yeah, harder, but 
At least we finished the mission quicker. And Mr. say the same thing again. Fuka, what do you have to say if you're not going to be so nervous around us? I'm glad you made Kuda's back to normal. But do you think his relationship with, Ch with Chidori-san will work out? She's a member of Strega, they are, and they're our enemies. Ah oh, man, you know what? I really don't know how that'll turn out. It could be for the best, but I don't expect that to happen, so I'm not really sure. It's such an ironic twist of fate. Yeah, she was the enemy, but she's getting along with one of our own. Either good things could happen from this, or very, very bad things. Should use a real good cook, yada yada yada, I guess. It's all money to help Coral. That's like the third night in a row that Shitty has been feeding Coral, hasn't he? He must really love the little guy, and I don't blame him. Speaking of which, where is he, anyways? Uh, Junpei, Spoon Happiness. Uh, Shinji, where are you? Ah, here you are. Be the lone brooder as always, I see. So a big ass shadow appears during the full moon. And you've already beaten nine of them, huh? Uh-huh, it has been easy, but we've been able to manage that. Not bad. Hey, if you were with us a lot sooner, I'm pretty sure we would have ripped through those guys a lot, lot simpler, or a lot easier than we already had. So let's see, since it's mud day, I think we've accomplished enough for today. So next time, we're gonna do some more social -like business. I know that's kind of like more the same, but those kind of uh, stints happen in this game, especially if you're doing a max social link run like myself. But the social links are really, really interesting, and they're a major driving force in this game, like I've said before. So I hope you're not getting too bored about that. We will go back to Tartarus soon enough, I can promise you all that. But in the next episode, like I said, there's gonna be more social link business for us to handle. Until we meet again, farewell for now.